All right, so I'm going to do a quick video on isometrics, and then less quick portion will be to show you how to draw uh, something in isometric that's more unusual, like stairs, and show you how to put that in perspective of drawing, too. So uh, let's go right to this. I'm going to go into my options. And then options, or you can just type in Q and go to toolbox. Uh, I think I already did an ISO, right? So if that wasn't here, I would just go click a new toolbox, call it distance. Click OK, and then I'm going to go to custom distance. There, add it, and then apply it, click OK, and there it is. So now I can, uh, maybe it's going to move around. Very quick, without, there's a very small little area. Anyway, so closer it is to the drawing, the better. That'll be on the drawing about right here. So let's zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to turn on the isometric. So go to options, angle constraint settings. And it just hit the default one there, 30, 60, 90, and uh, set it active, and then close and apply, V, and now it's in angle constraint mode. We're going to go 27, so 27, enter it in there, and drag it in the direction you want it, hit it. Then we're going to go that direction, 35, yeah, 35. And five. This uh, custom distance, you can go J, D, and that bring up the that hotkey. Uh, it's kind of a two-step hotkey. So we're going to go 35 minus 530. And then 27 less 5, 22. Close that polygon, and you're going to go 8.67, 6, 7, and drag it down, enter, and you could do the same over and over, but you know, just copy and paste that, control C, control V, F3, F3, and V, R to refresh, and then let's put the dimensions in shift at and go to text uh, in line with text fine size is good. And then start pulling dimensions. Now, here you want to avoid trying to pull the dimension out from the middle, just pull it close to the end, it'll give you more control. Alright, just had to do that. So uh, I could show you real quick how to turn that into something that's a uh, perspective instead of isometric. So we gotta select it. I'm just gonna type in to group it, and I want perspective this direction, right? So it's diminishing out here. I'm going to select it, Control H, Enter. I'm going to turn perspective off, cancel, H. So now I want it to diminish in this direction, right? I'm going to do uh, surround it with the box. Actually, I need to undo all this. Let's try it with the dimensions. Let's see, just create a box, set it to the limit, and then uh, the I want the perspective kind of go like this. H. 
here somewhere. So I'm just going to cross those points right there. So I'm going to select it. And then there's a edit selection. Right? Four point move. Bottom left, bottom right, upper left, upper right. It's going to turn it perspective. So it's sort of cheating for doing a perspective. Delete and then grab it. Control H. Select the two handles. Set it down. JC 30. There you go. Now you have some sort of perspective view. Put the diminishing point. So that's how you do an isometric and perspective. And I did the same thing over here with some stairs. Just added the line side there to make it look like it was the perspective uh, to show that it was perspective. And this is the isometric. Uh, pretty straightforward drawing with the isometric. You just draw your stairs and treads and everything. Uh, you can't really do angles. Maybe if you really good at some, it made a program to do you could add it to the 30 uh, but you just draw the like right here you can come up with your v turn on the option and get your distance uh is seven and then eleven Enter and then take that. Draw, select there. Array 15. So now you got red there. Shift control. And this one right there. Control R. T. And then hit B. Should be all one polyline. Nope. It's a polyline now, and then you just draw. I think this was a uh, 48. This would be 48. Get up there. Same thing. Enter. Control C. Control V. And then select them both. Control H. Enter. Draw. Ray. Spot, turn, control R, just start building it like that to get the bottom here. I think of the top was. Uh, 12 inches, control C, G, I might end up doing this other way again. Not really editing, but partly do so. Uh, let's see what the dimension of that is. 50. That's pretty much it. And then I think it was 12. And you had, uh, this is all cut out, so this would be B, where it ended up against that. And let's see, if this was a, this is where sometimes it's better to just go out of isometric tool, options, tool, TV. Actually, no, it would be underneath here somewhere, right? If it was like a two by 12 tool, uh, options, angle constraint, Let's cancel it, and then draw a V, J, C, A10, open, seven divided by 11, close, enter, so give us a pitch of a seven eleven stairs. R. Then offset that uh, color number just call it number twelve, and then V. H, enter. Trim. And then go the 
this dimension right here, 22.35. We would go over here, G. I'm gonna turn this back. Two point three seven five. Enter. Oh. You have to click. Okay, you can't hit enter. Enter, and then uh, V H. So let's turn that back off. Cancel. V. H J same as two points. Enter that. Trim that to there. And there you go. Random meets. Uh, H like this. So this would you would need the stringer would have to go under for this type of set up. Or Yeah, anyways, so it's just drawing, it's just the same. You're starting to get into design. That's the point of this video. Then you go through, you start building up the stairs, you build the walls, you do the handrails. So, in the handrails, something like this, you want to delete those from the hidden view. You just take this whole object, right? Control H, line it up with the handrail, and then you just delete it. All right, you would go come in here, zoom in this, and delete, you delete D, K, you delete all those treads that were sitting in there in between, and then just draw the thing, trim that. There. Shift. Underscore. Yep. Well, that's how you get rid of that perspective there. You know, the stuff that you don't like there. Control H. Hit there and there. J. B. 30 degrees. Enter. All right. So now you've got your isometric of your stairs. And then you do the same thing with the stairs. So I'll show you. Grab it. Bring it over here. Yeah, so quick into something like that. So we want to turn this into a perspective. Take the whole thing, Control H, and the perspective line that you want is right here. Not really. Control H. Grab it. Set it H. Now the perspective lines are horizontal. Okay, select it. Now if let's do this first. Let's put it in a bounding box. Just like this. Give us more control over the perspective. So let's say the diminishing point we want it out here. That far. Right. So V V control K. Now we're creating the diminishing point. We could, uh, let's do this. Uh, uh -huh. Let's do it a little bit off. Let's do it like this. Different perspective. Over there. Get rid of that. This is diminishing in the middle. Let's get this one to diminish uh, opposite a little bit. So come down here, select it. And do four point move, edit, selection edit, four point move. We're going to just leave the bottom the same. Come up here and hit F4 there. And then select it. Control H. 
been a long time since I've been at a drafting JC. I don't know if this is legal. I don't think you can get in trouble for doing a offset isometric in your class. Anyway, there you go. So that's uh, just a different perspective. So perspective matches up. This one to that one. That one. Right. Your perspective is a little different than that one. So it looks a little nicer. Uh, the, the angle of view is, uh, you know, it's just, I don't know. I'm not an artist. But it'll give you an idea how to draw something up, make it look professional. And uh, hope that helps you in your career. And thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like the videos. I try to put as many of these videos out as I can. Uh, Keep interested. If you're if you're interested, subscribe. And if you have a question on something like this, send me a, a request, and I'll try to put it out there for you if I know how to, how to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. And women.